The Washington Post wrote that European leaders have started to prepare for the probable victory of Donald Trump in the U.S. presidential election and for the imminent trade war with the White House. Trump made two important statements last week regarding the further building of relations with the European Union. The U.S. presidential candidate warned about the introduction of import duties on European goods and about his intention to withdraw military support to European countries that failed to fulfill earlier promises to increase contributions to NATO. NATO Secretary General Stoltenberg flew to Washington to focus the attention of U.S. administration officials on how much U.S. military equipment European allies buy to strengthen their defense and the NATO bloc as a whole. The probable refusal of the U.S. to provide defense guarantees to European countries could lead to a sharp drop in demand for U.S. weapons and military equipment in EU countries. According to the Washington Post, the most discussed topic on the sidelines of the Munich Security Forum this time was not support for Ukraine, but talk of the need to create a pan-European army that could replace the NATO bloc. It is noted that a number of European leaders are discussing the possibility of suspending contributions to NATO, advocating the redirection of the defense budget to finance an alternative European project. However, a clear decision is far from being made according to American journalists. Chancellor Schultz and President Macron are traditionally tied up in the usual disputes. They are still unable to decide who should take on most of the costs in case other EU countries refuse to finance the European military bloc, and the countries of Eastern Europe and the Baltics, which rely on Washington rather than Brussels to make any important decisions, will presumably want to abandon the European bloc. Another stumbling block on the way to the creation of a European NATO is the American military bases in Europe and the nuclear weapons stored there. Someone has to take responsibility for storing these weapons. So far, there have been no European countries willing to do so. One way or another, the American edition summarizes, the Munich Forum for the first time in a long time was not a gathering of confident and solidary Western politicians, but a backstage platform for poor guests to search for difficult solutions.